There's, there's words here that I can't use in front of my grandmother. <laughs> there's a lot of this going on. There's like a little bit of bouncing. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Tuesday and welcome to The Lituation. This is the show right now. This is SMBC3. This is Trending SA. show that gives you the roundup on all things trending on social media for the next hour our mission is to bring to you all that's been happening today on the social media streets welcome to it okay so we're ready with the threads with the trends and we're ready to introduce who is around the table right now in case you're wondering who the straight shooter is wonder no more her name is miss goody Hello, darling. Shauna, love, love you, baby. You're not getting your money back. <laughs> and on her right, the one who leave her kissing the air. <laughs> this is Gabo yeah. Mo. What is that? What is that? Did you not see that? it? No. We'll Tom. show you. <laughs> what is we'll this? show you, chums. It's <laughs> okay. good. I love you. And on my left, golden bone with the punch lines. This is Nina Hastings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I tell jokes? <laughs> That's well, what you said, though, right? Your lipstick. It's okay. <laughs> and I, yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. All right, so you can introduce yourself on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Use the hashtag Tsa on three. We want to know you, you want to know us, and we want to know what's happening on our timeline. So I think, Abum, I'll start with you tonight. All righty then. Things that fooled me as a child popped up on my timeline today. So we'll be scrolling through all those lies that you remember your parents telling you when you were a child. Uh, and now you feel like a nincompoop for believing them. But hey, what? What's a nincompoop? A, a nin nincompoop. A nincompoop? A nincompoop. <laughs> Guys, read a book or two every now and then. I love a nincompoop. But it's, listen, it's your parents, uh, so you believe them. That's your, that's your prerogative. Yeah, prerogative. Yeah. All right, Siskuli. I was saying, be nice to my sisters, others will go savagery on you. <laughs> savagery is on the menu today. I know it's one of your favorite segments on Trending SA. And this week, like every other week, you do not, we do not shy away from being savages on social media. You do not shy away from being social, um, savages on social media. So I'll be scrolling through social media for the best of your savage posts. Of course, this one has already started. I love it. Nina, what's on your news feed? Well... I'll just let you look at me for a moment. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> <laughs> ma, ma, ma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tweeps have been tickling my funny bones uh, with their funny posts. Uh, and uh, so <laughs> I thought, let me share some of the laughs with another installment of LOL Tuesday. Is that a thing? Yeah. Let's do it. LOL Tuesday. So stick around for that. We'll be lolling. Um, yes. L M A O E. <laughs> We're all about social media trends, right? Yeah. Right? So tonight we've invited the CEO of hashtag SA, Conrad Travis David. He is going to tell us more about what makes a trend and how his company got to be the next best trendy thing. But before we go to an ad break, I'm gonna show you. The moment. Oh, this what? Listen, the moment. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Please listen, explain listen, to him. No, 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 listen, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. No, no, no. Okay. okay. So if you're wondering why we called Gabo with the one who leaves Kuli kissing the air, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I'm ashamed. But I'm ashamed. Like, I love you, my friend. Like, like, Cooley goes in like this. Yeah, this is the best one. She goes in for the kiss. The first one. First one. She goes for the kiss. Yeah. She goes for the second one. And then she keeps going. She keeps going. That was the best part. What was the third one? I love it. Just in case you were still there. <laughs> so listen, we see you at 
Christus 24. You're amazing. You're a legend. Thank you very much for making that edit of the most amazing moment. Come on, mom. We'll be back it after was, the break. Come on, mom. But he was still going in front. I don't know why we're dancing. You don't, I don't know, know why. why we're dancing because, as I said yesterday, uh, we are going to prove ourselves to be who we are at heart, <laughs> and we've lost again. Oh, oh my friend. To oh, two ma. One. How we ma? Surprises there. Uh, so, um, what does the South African national football team has to say for itself? Hey, look, there it is. <laughs> That's the full time score. Full time score. It's over. Mm. And so this social, social media, media had okay. a big reaction. So, so we have yeah. a look. I told him Banyana Banyana next time. This is who? Uh, Mafa K. Mm -hmm. He says, Ah, she, we can't make it anymore. This is too much. Shleng Batong. Shleng Batong. We can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's, still, it's still so emotional about it, right? It is. I like that other one yesterday. Okay, we should be paid a stipend for watching. <laughs> exactly. It's I painful, even... guys, man. It's painful. Because every time, every time you, you watch, you believe this is the one time mm, we're going to change things. Mm. And then it... Yeah. 
Yeah, anyway, there was, just, there was one more that they didn't pull up, but I've just seen on my phone now. The city of Johannesburg have just tweeted, should have switched off your TV at this point of the Bafana game. We forgive you. Next time you know what to do. Hashtag save electricity. <laughs> Is that, that, that is TK a, or that J, it, the GZ? It's GZ. It's not TK. Love I was it. like, okay, sharp, guys. But anyway, I'm very disappointed. But happy Jele. Yes. He was the one who scored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he? <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so Trending SA on SABC3, and we're going to bring you all that is trending. I'm Siskuli kidding. is going to give us our first update now, talking about Cindy So, right? Oh, Om Dasaka. It is an unfortunate turn <coughs> of events. Hashtag <coughs> Cindy So, my God. Yeah. Bless you, Lala. Was all over my timeline. This comes after the African National Congress spokesman in KwaZulu Natal, Ndumisen Ntuli confirmed Makaita's death last night. Makaita and two other ANC councillors were rushed to hospital in July after they were shot by unknown, unknown people at Mzimkulu in southern KwaZulu-Natal. This is what fellow comrades had to say on social media. Uflo Shibambu says condolences to the family of comrade Cindy Somakaka. It's sad that his life was ended most possibly on the instruction of fellow comrades. Oh. Ukwede Mandasha says law enforcement agencies must act now. The loss of the life of comrade, hashtag Cindy Somakaka, and many other comrades in KZN must not be in vain. Advocate Tuli Matonsela says our thoughts and prayers are with Cindy Somakaka's family, friends, and colleagues. A brave, bright star extinguished too soon. Hashtag RIP Cindy. So. Kaj, this has really, this has really been sad as we have seen an increase in political killings from one province to the next. It's shocking that in this day and age, people are brutally killed from being counselors. Come on, people get killed for positions. What happened to putting in an honest day's work and being civilized to one another? R.I.P. Budwe to Cindy Somakaka. They can kill you, but they will never take away your hard work and dedication. Very sad. All it's right. just disgusting. Nina, let's we have did a look this. at your timeline. Look, um... Yeah, I just wanted to give us a moment there. All right. Um, I'm going to change the, the energy a little bit, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. uh, because more money, more problems. We actually, you have to pronounce it like this. More money, more problems. Um, I'm sure that's how Spongile money that's the song that she's singing right now. You, you know that? Okay. Yes. Uh, so the Walter Sisulu University student had to be whisked away by police from fellow students after chaos broke out today from the Pan-Africanist Student Movement of Azania. That's PASMA. That's one L short of plasma. They uh, demanded that Spongile <laughs> pays back the money that she now owes the private student grant payment company in Telimali. That's well, not very Intelli, if it put it in the wrong place in the first place. But uh, Intelli Mali, after spending 800,000 rants Yo. from the 14 million rants that was erroneously uh, dividend into her account. Okay, so now according to the student movement, money has missed tests, classes because of angry students <gasps> who want an explanation from her for spending the money which was initially oh, no, supposed to be used for the students under financial aid. Mm. Here's a video of a friend protecting her from all the media attention and has been making the rounds on social media and how this whole debacle has now um, put her very life in danger. What was she thinking? Her parents are harassed, her grandmothers are visited by some journalists who are asking funny questions, some of the things that you might not be aware of, uh, and so forth and so forth. Even her photo is all over uh, the social media when she walks around town, everyone is all over her face, which might put her life at stake. And you said this is. It is shocking, Pabi. Is that her friend to f talking to the media? In the no, it's part of the political no, party no, that no, she's no, part of. Part of one of the members of Pasma. What I, oh, what I okay. find was interesting is how the Peruvian weavers got off. Almost like Olivia Pope was like, this is not going to work. We yeah, must, yeah. Must remove it and ask like an afro. Eh? Mm. The thing is, Nasekai, there is no accountability. So I'm not, I'm not condoning what those students are doing, but we need accountability. You can't go around doing strange things all the time. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, look, uh, doing strange things, but I mean, look what 
that concept of what mob justice could possibly mm -hmm. do. You know what I mean? Put somebody at so much risk, you know? And but it also just drawing attention to yourself. It reflects way. just how frustrated mm. people are, Absolutely. right? It's another demonstration of that. Can I tell you about Stats Essay? Yes, yes. mummy. Stats Essay was on my timeline today. <laughs> they announced that Essay has recovered from a recession in the second quarter of the year. Because, remember, we slipped into our first technical recession back in June 2009, right? We had a weak manufacturing and trade sectors. And now, the thing is, we can't get overly excited. Can I buy a house? You see, we can't get overly <laughs> excited. We must remember that, okay, yes, we may be out of this recession, but tomorrow the petrol price goes up by 67 cents per litre. So that means 95 unleaded petrol will now cost 13 rand 72 a litre and diesel 11 rand 70 a litre. Sure. I can't deal. And this affects everyone. Everyone. We so know when I need him. The cost of fuel. Hey, wait now. The cost of fuel goes up. Everything goes up. All goods, services, they're all impacted by that. More so Santaco, who are the South African National Taxi Association, says that since petrol is going up tomorrow, of course, Taxi fare has yep. to go up too, wow. mm. between one rand and five rand. Somewhere there, they're going to increase. Uh, so, recovery from recession does have a ripple effect through the entire sector. And uh, at work earlier today, I caught up with Andile Kumalo, Group COO of MSG, and asked him to give us a bit of an explanation, clear it up for us. What does this all mean for us? He's so good looking. It's important because it brings back confidence for foreign investors. It does mean that people will start looking at us differently and saying, I'm invested in a country that's likely to grow. And if we can get more foreign investment, that means we can get jobs, growth to start coming back. And hopefully the confidence in the economy starts coming back. So it is good news. However, it's not, we're not necessarily out of the woods yet because things are still very, very difficult. Um, our economy has got a lot of uncertainty going on on the political front. I'm pretty sure we are all aware about what's happening there. All of that is fueling a lot more uncertainty as we work our way to December and the big conference that's happening, obviously, in December. But for now, I think we should take it. Right. Yeah. yeah. When's he coming right. to visit then, Bobby? I'll invite him mm. on your behalf. Yeah. Thank you very much, <laughs> boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hope everyone understands now that, you know, recovery from a recession means what Angela said. So let's see what social media had to say about the recession news. Skinny girl at Toxin Muff says, is it safe to buy a car or a house without huge interest? Well, I think you have to be interested in the house before you buy it. Sure, la, la. At Fezzi Wester says, very good news. Hope we are able to sustain the growth. I hope so too. And uh, Mo Libeko says, status says, South Africa is officially out of technical recession. South Africans going for more debts like... <laughs> nah, they shouldn't tell us, actually. Yeah, don't do that. Protect yourself. Mm. Gabo, Mo, you got something about lies coming up. What sort of lies? Yes, indeed. Things that for me as a child was featured on my timeline today. And it got me thinking about what kind of things fooled me when I was a child growing up. Uh, well, we'll get to that in a bit. Let's see how the social media gang revealed their ages to us and what they thought about all these things that fooled them when they were children. All right. When we were children. So, uh, this is what... Um, Ducky 05, right? Mm. Uh, thing that fooled me as a child, choice assorted biscuits are eaten on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> now, I eat them every Sunday in my house. I don't know about you guys. Eat, my, eat, we we say nothing. We, we won't say things like, oh, we can tell. We say nothing. And it's uh, Stuby 98. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say it. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> Okay, Juby98 says, uh, when your mom didn't want to go out with you, so she'd say, go get your shoes and I'll wait. But leave you anyway. Oh. That's cruel, man. That That's happened big. to me as well. That's cruel. <laughs> Who doesn't, who doesn't know the story? My mom used to tell me to get your shoes when I was about to get a hiding. Yeah, with the shoe. With the shoe. Exactly. Don't fetch your shoe. MS Catastrophe brought out the eating plates with this one. Must join in. Uti, um, I'm Zakuski. Uh, hashtag things that fooled me as a child. Only adults are meant to eat the big pieces of meat. You see adults. Only adults are meant to drink the certain drink. Only adults are meant to adults must eat first. I mean, the adults are the children are this big, and the adults are like, oh, coming to eat first because we're adults. Come on, it still happens. Consider the children first.
Oh, I must tell you a story about my mom and chicken wings one day. It's a goodie. Anyway, then there's always that question of where do babies come from? Uh, um, is it from an airplane or from the sky? Stork. Or, well, Klalef, Klalefo Mputso <laughs> <laughs> shared these same sentiments. I used to think that children are bought. <laughs> Did you also think that children were bought? No. I didn't think about it. I couldn't I, have bothered. I understood biology. <laughs> my from parents a very gave me a age. very biological answer. Yeah. Like yeah don't, don't, don't repeat it. So, this is the uterus? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and will the real Shaka Zulu please stand up? All right. So, this confused at Ayanda underscore Bianca <laughs> sings a lot. Check it out. Uh, this man was Shaka Zulu. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, hand it to was Shaka Zulu. No, but that man is Shaga Zulu. You see, yeah. even Nina's confused. Yes. Oh, that Ellen. man Shaga Zulu? That man is Shaga Zulu, man. I thought Shaga Zulu used to present on Trending SA. No. Let's go to an ad break now. The hashtag is start on three. We are going to be right back after this. <laughs>
Welcome back. You're still watching Trending SA right here on SABC3. You know that we're also streaming live online on TrendingSA.tv. Now, I see you are in engaging with us. You're, you're all about us as well on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love it. So keep the love coming through uh, using the hashtag on 3 So this next post comes from Facebook. Yay! Yay. Hello, Dorothy Joshua from Facebook. Wow, what and an amazing Barry. team. Love you guys loads. I'm enjoying the show. Dorothy. <laughs> and the next one comes from Twer. 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 Sana Mbele at Sun <laughs> Go, go for it, go for it. Are, ha, 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 ha. Kuri Roberts, babes, oh, tabula, oh, moya, oh, moya. Joining us there on three, ha, 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 shame. Aim to Sakaya when I won't see my son on belly. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. And my children were watching, I was embarrassed, humiliated, or nothing. Let it go, please. I've uh, told everyone I know, I've showed them all that video. Look, and then she kisses the air the third time. Yeah. Why the third time? The third time. Trying to find it. It's Tuesday. It is time, friends and foes, for another installment of That's, That's So Savage. Okay. So, <laughs> just when you thought, oh, what a humble guy. Who am I talking about, a.k.a. and why? Well, what was first perceived as a.k.a. thanking his fans on Twitter turns out that the reason was the exact opposite. Flossing should be a.k.a.'s middle name and not because of his winning smile. Have a look, more lolos. I'm on a A.k.a. our team. Want to take him? I, can you do the accent? Okay, want to take a moment to let you know that I'm grateful for all the love, support, also that my car is currently charging like an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. So for all y'all that don't know, let me bring you up to speed. AKA just got himself a new whip in addition to his panda. Yeah, baby. Panda. Look at that. Ooh, Look at that. Panda. Nice, nice, nice. So lots of tweets felt that his tweet had nothing to do with um, thanking his fans. It was just really to show off that he's now part of Somizi's exclusive club of electric fast cars. Drivers whose rides need recharging like cell phones. Well, you and Somizi, nice guys. So he was plugging his plug. So he was plugging his plug in vehicle. He was plugging his plug in vehicle. But social media was not going to let that floss pass without taking shots at the super mega. Come on, now guys, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Shots fired! Let's check this one out. Utabang Macho says, are you gonna charge? Ooh, are you also charging Bonang? She might need the she, she might need the charges for her grammar. Guys, leave Bonang alone. Come on. Ramza says, Casper your vest is putting you in pressure. Don't worry. Yo, what does that say, Nina? I don't know what Biku That's the name of his album. Yeah, it's the, it's the name of his oh, album. Be careful, be careful what, what you wish, wish for. Yes. We'll go double platinum in the next decades. Ah, 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 ah. Can we hear that gunshot again? Because that was <laughs> lethal. Whoa. Also, that other tweet where there was no... Oh, Major, look, you were slave to a page in my rhyme book. Getting big money, playboy, your time's up. Where the gangsters are. Anyway, while Nzanzi was digesting, aka Melania Trump became a sacrificial lamb for the U.S. savagery on social media after Hurricane Harvey hit this week. So, uh, listen, guys. People lost their homes. Mm. Some people passed away. Infrastructure was damaged. Mm. It was just one big um, mess in Houston. And then... As the first lady arrived to sympathize with the Texans, I mean, 35,000 people were, were misplaced, displaced mm. in the midst of the muddy streets and the flooding all around. Guess what Melania Trump was wearing? <laughs> yes, guys. She Wait, what's the six problem? Six-inch heels. Six-inch heels and shades. It was raining, puppy. It was raining. What did she need shades for? Um, amid the chaos in Texas, she had a skivvy carry her Louis Vuitton luggage around Houston as well. Well, I guess you can't carry luggage and wear heels at the same time. <laughs> you know, it's hard. Oh, my God. I think you should just respect it, the, 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 the vibe, you know, yeah. be reverent and put on your sneakers and go, look like you want to help people. Well, some, go 
jam boots. Yeah, I mean, she looks like she's going on a catwalk. But guys, did you see how she was walking like she was a robot? <laughs> she has been she programmed. She's modeling, Shane. Do you think she's a Stepford She's wife? a modeler. She yeah. is um, from the Jetsons, is what she oh, is. She Exactly that. AKA can plug her in as well. There at Melrose Arch. When she gets plugged in, she speaks with a Russian accent. There is no milk in the fridge. Sorry. Exactly that. Kabomo, your thoughts? So, the first couple then tried to curb this whole PR disaster when the first lady eventually stepped out of the plane wearing sneakers uh, after all the backlash. Then Trump decided to even cover the whole thing by spending one million dollars out of his own pocket. Well, it was too late. People were already mad. This is so, about techies or high heels. Yeah, I people feel like yeah, you will yeah, not wear heels mad. when people are dying. Yeah. People must calm down. Let's check out Baba Tilgo's social media. Okay, let's hear what people say. Uh, uh, Kimango, Kimango. Lee, just say Lee. Lee, okay. Uh -huh. Someone told Manasha that they were taking the highway to the church zone, uh -huh. so she came dressed as Tom Cruise you in see? Top Gun. Hilarious. Highway to the um, and <laughs> You're still scrolling through those trends. Um, this is Trending SA on SABC3. The hashtag is Tsa on 3 All right, so our next guest knows all about social media. He was voted as South Africa's top 100 most influential young entrepreneurs in 2016 in the science and tech category. Wow. Conrad Travis David calls himself the go-to guy in social media and digital technology. He's the CEO of Hashtag South Africa. Everybody welcome Conrad! into it um your brand hashtag south africa is built uh -huh. in line with the national development plan i mean why why link with the ndp well well i read this document back in 2011 yeah. 444 page documents some people think what are you doing but then i got to understand government institutions and internationals are trying to build south africa after just we 23 years in democracy so much needs to be done you know a hundred years struggle to get us to where we are today and uh 
a lot needs to be done. People that didn't have lights and water now have that. So we try, South Africa as a government is infrastructure and building the country in that way. And as citizens and as business people, we can see this as an opportunity. Let's leverage off this. Let's build with this. South Africa is at BRICS. South Africa is doing these things. Let's be a part of that rather than just uh, complain. Yeah. Like that. So now, all the way back in 2003, you studied advertising and marketing. Mm -hmm. So where did this passion for digital communication come from? Wow, I think it started back in 1992, actually. You know, when I first uh, got home, my dad bought an IBM computer. And I've, uh, I grew up as a kid very sickly, so I always like, had asthma. So instead of being outdoors playing, oh. I would do puzzles and computers. And I got connected to the internet at a very young age. So I grew up, and till today, I still make use of the internet. And starting Hashtag South Africa came about on this great idea I had leaving Bible school. So um, we had a little chats just before the show yeah. and uh, I, I said that I was following you on Instagram and <laughs> uh, that I noticed some of your posts um, tracked your entrepreneurial journey and that you actually started your company with only a hundred rand in your pocket. Do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as a, as a journey in entrepreneur, things can be very hard. Before that, I had a company called uh, Mzanzi Chemicals. Uh, I was pretty much founder supplier uh, and then marketed it out there. And I realized all that time and energy, it's not really working out. Uh, and while I was in Bible school, I realized so many people are focusing on products and services. Clearly, I wasn't listening that day in class. Everyone's focusing on selling a spray can or alcohol drink, but very few are focusing on the country. And then I just wrote down a hashtag and then South Africa. I was like, wow, let me just leave, pack my stuff and, and left. The 100 Rand is what I borrowed from my mom to register the domain. And once I registered the domain, I created the website in a week or two. And then I just started going and knocking on doors uh, when I was in KZN to different businesses. One client said no to me about eight times. And well, till today, he's still a client. So <laughs> persistence pays off. Wow, okay. So we do it. Yes, eventually. Eventually. Do you have more dramatic obstacles than that? Wow, well, life is always full of, you know, mm. uh, you're always dealing with rejection. Uh, you know, it, it always starts with the people around you, then uh, on the new environments you go to. Uh, some clients looking back, um, certain departments are very against this whole social media type of thing. Is that you busy working? Yep, I was on the phone working, uh, getting things done. That was Still a shot. on the phone working. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> always, always at it. Always at it. <laughs> You mentioned Bible school a lot. Tell me a bit more about that. Yeah, you know, it's, I've always had this, uh, I kind of you know, grew up in the church ministries and yeah. so forth, mm -hmm. uh, but I paid very little attention to being a part of it. Uh, and then, you know, I had, I had always had this calling about reading the word and understanding it in an in-depth level. Uh, and I enrolled in, in Bible school. And over the years, I always had many priests and, and prophets coming over and talking to me. And when I made that decision, I'm going to go ahead and study. And I did that for about a year and a half, but... In the journey of Hashtag South Africa, I've spoken to more people, I've trained more people. Mm. I had a chance to express the word out, and I believe the church is not in a, in a building, it's out in the world. Amen. You know, and we look 2,000 years later, more people are free, we're not enslaved, we have the freedom of choice. You know, the whole planet is rising up. It's the greatest revolution right now. So, um, my grand's watching the show. and My uh, grand as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... People that are watching the show don't necessarily know what makes things trend. Yes. So we talk about this. The show is called Trending SA. We talk yeah. about trends and social media trending. First of all, what, okay, what is a social media trend and how do we make things trend? I'm going to give you a hashtag mm. and, and as an example, and you can tell us. For example, we spoke about things that fooled me as a child, mm -hmm. which is the hashtag that we spoke about earlier. How would somebody make that trend? You know, it first starts off with a simple idea where you have an event. So you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to create something that's going to be a really easy access point. So in school, we're taught the verb is the doing word. A hashtag is the action word. Every hashtag you jump on board in tons of conversation. That's what the show came about. And how you, what happens nowadays, people have WhatsApp groups. They invite all influentials on board like, guys, uh, we're going to be tweeting between 8 and 10 o'clock. These are the type of messages. Let's push it out. That's a structured approach. But for organically, uh, People are just getting things to trend. If your content's good, if it's creative, if it's funny, if it's informative. If people can resonate with it. Exactly. And you've got to be relative to the point. And, uh, if they're looking for a USB in the link. Yeah. yeah. Oh, link. Well, speaking of that, and I, then they look I think for the, the USB, USB is actually here. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it a USB, man? Think same thing. Use the cloud. <laughs> but there's also this other element of social yes. media where people use it as a platform to sell things. Yes. Okay. Yes. So how can someone at home start 
gaining from their social media platform? How can they start a social mm. media business? So, so just when you start your business, you're going to be like, this is the product and service I'm going to offer. This is my time I'm going to spend in it. And then start looking at if it's a product, let's say you're a bakery, you want to bake cakes. Start doing baking cakes and take different picks and different options or uh, you're going to deliver something to your client. Capture the moments. Uh, we're at a point now where you don't need huge production sets. We have these phones that we can take out to people, sh take short videos, take short clips, and start sharing it. And you build up your profile. Guys, you've got to realize you've got to put in the time and the effort. It's not going to happen like you start Monday and Friday, you're going to be this millionaire online. You know, I'm in this now for over seven years. You, it takes time to build up that awareness. And once you do, you build up credi credibility. You know, just like you build up credibility with clients, mm. you're building that online. Mm. And that's what matters. Mm. You, you've worked with um, some of the best companies in the country. As a matter of fact, you worked with government and private sector and you've identified problems in 12 spheres of world society mm -hmm. and, and created an actionable solutions. What are these? What are these? Um, you know, looking at these 12 spheres, something I learned from uh, one of my past mentors, Dr. Miles Monroe. Uh, there's different spheres of worlds of society. So we have politics, which is one, government, which is another. Remember, those are two different. Civic society, arts and culture, uh, education, health and religion. Religion. And every sphere of society has a world of influence. You have people like institutions uh, that have already been there for such a long time, and they dictate how society is being pushed forward. So what we're doing at Hashtag South Africa is I'm going into these boardrooms, into these institutions, and like, guys, we need to start to ensure that you are here for the next 50 to 100 years. We need to start implementing these digital strategies. Mm. You need to start creating short videos. We need to start allowing more people into these rooms and environments. So uh, I've positioned myself over the past few years at government institution level, and businesses normally gather at these places, uh, but we also go out to businesses out there in the marketplace to teach them, to show them, guys, this is one of the biggest land rushes and gold rushes right now. You know, uh, you look, everyone wants to try and get land in South Africa, build up your digital land and benefit from it. If you fi can't find customers in Johannesburg, what's stopping you from finding a customer in Tokyo? Mm. You know, mm. uh, we as South Africans, we need to start opening up our minds. Americans, some of them don't even leave the United States yet. They, they sell products here in South Africa or in Africa. Mm. And we need to start adapting that mentality. Uh, uh, just as a complete side, I mean, I, mm. I understand that this is, this is, I spoke to somebody recently on a plane who's, they had a a production house in China and they were selling things uh, in America mm. but their offices are in Joburg and they just sit and do this hmm Instagram hmm yeah. Twitter hmm mm. whatever and I mean this is what I guess what you're building and it's really beautiful in life, yeah. yeah great you know you got to put in those hours and that mm. time we love trends and uh, we know that you're a forecaster tell us what some of the trends that we should look out for because we want to be hip and happening you know like I always say hashtag South Africa should be the number one trend in South Africa the world is looking at us uh, and a lot of the content they see is negative. Guys, you know, I love Twitter, what's mm. going on, but let's be a bit more positive. Mm. Let's not slander our fellow South Africans. Mm. You know, uh, at the end of the day, when we, in, like everyone here goes overseas or goes and approaches, we go in, in as a family. South mm. Africa is such a unit. Guys, I always say, if you're born in Africa and South Africa, you're blessed. Don't consider it as a loss. Mm. See it as an opportunity. This is one of the final frontiers. So if you want something to trend, uh, Make sure it's intuitive. Uh, things you always look out. Like we see, hashtag Monday motivation is always trending. Yeah. Mm. Someone started that. What's stopping someone else from making something else to trend? For sure. Mm. So, something positive, you mean? Exactly. Yeah. Positive as well as action, guys. I like to see people say, like, I went to the bank. I submitted this, uh, this finance. Uh, this is the process of how it happened. Rather nice. than, like, I'm popping champagne on Fredman Drive. On oh, the my God. I love you. I love you. Oh, nice. no, thank yes. you very much, Conrad. Yes. 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 Conrad, Travis, David, everybody. Really interesting, right? Mm. Okay, cool. We're going to take a quick break. Um, when we wrap things up, we're going to see Ogogo, who struck gold. Yes. You want to see this? Yes. We'll be right back.
And to wrap up our Tuesday edition of the show, it's a madhouse here. It totally is a madhouse. It's like guy. You think oh, we're crazy. Yeah. You must see the people behind the scenes. Anyway, Gabo Omo has been with us and we have loved Gabo Omo being thank with so us yeah, yesterday and today. I've thank enjoyed you it. Thank much. you guys for kick ass. Um, and in honor of this being your last show and this being your last segment, I would like to hand over the reins to you to tell us our next story. Um, bottom, so bottom, bottom. here's a granny that can build herself a mm. house. Remember, because yesterday, money. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 This granny's not the unidentified granny from the East Rand got so lucky that she wanted herself 20. 20 oh, what happened? Me. She bought herself. She bought a ticket for 20 Rand. Yeah. <laughs> ticket. I already found out that her ticket was the winning ticket of 25 million Rand. This thing is hard, guys. Oh, I've got to for you guys. Thank you. 25 million. She wanted herself 25 million Rand. Huh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so we took this one thing to our social media and it's asked you, what would you do if you There's won 25 million rands from the lottery? That's my mom still. So have a look at the responses. Um, Peter Okose from Facebook says, I would help the 14 million WSU students pay up her 800,000 rent debt so they can stop attacking and harassing her, build my house, donate and invest, let alone spoil myself and my father. What is sweetie pie? Good things are coming to you, Peter. Uh, Helena Mile, Mile. Mile, 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 Mile. First and foremost, he will uh, hire by yes. Mule. <laughs> hire by Mule to be my Madam Speaker for my interviews with my long lost oh. friends who suddenly remember that I exist and then do wonders with the rest. Yes. So yes. sweet. Yes. So sweet. Um, uh, Tandy says, No one will ever see me again taking my mama and we out. How? Oh. <laughs> and is born. Oh. Uh, and the last one uh, from. Uh, come on. From Leostic. 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 Simply spent it wisely. Education. Yes. A home home a warm home for the aid my family is best. Returning something to my community is yes. one uh, I would like to achieve. I'm hungry. I love that's that. We've so got a community nice. of people who think about others first. Exactly. Not just and just spend that's that what money. That's what we want. Uh, you would do that as well. You would build an orphanage. With, with straight face with my eyes closed. Mm. Mm. Would you hire me? I'd no, I mean, in, as a speaker. I'd work in No, your you're my mates. I'm not going to hire you. You're going to do it for free. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mates. Someone was saying something about basketball, a baseball team. We have a baseball team, guys. Look it up. Yeah, yeah training SA. Not training no, SA. South country. Africa. Yeah, the country. The country has a national. I was like, do you guys go and have your secret meetings at a No, we have I a baseball know. team. And Bafana, Bafana, guys, we don't know what to say. I mean, I would like to say, you know, try and see how Banyana Banyana do it. Oh, well, and <laughs> I've had a fantastic two-day week here on Trending SA. How about you guys? It's Thank been wonderful. You. I'd be better if it was a five-day week. It was nice week. to have him here. Thank yeah. you so much for having me, guys. We are still petitioning for our five-day week. Yeah. Listen, we really loved having you here. Thank you. Really Thank you, nice. Thank Thank you. you. See you Monday, 9.30, right here on SABC3. And hopefully on Tuesday, Wednesday, You're gonna waste your life away. You need to change your ways before the leg. No, but I'm in a summer's up chunk. So, let me go down for two little crates. I'm gonna be on the street. You're my dog on the papa. I'm gonna go down for two little crates.